In this video, I'm gonna go over complete guide to pressage, and I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than I do in the past, because typically I get complaints when I do a guide like this that I miss some little detail, and people are stuck and can't figure out how to get to the next part of the mission. So this, in this, I will actually go through a complete commentary as I do the mission instead of cutting out, except for a few things where I may have done something a little bit longer because it's a slow, flawless run. I will cut those out, but overall, you'll see the entire gameplay. Exploratory outing, pressage. Designation VG. So first off, this area is a little tricky. Um, depending on what character you're on, you're gonna make sure you have a lot of mobility. If you're on a hunter, Stompies really helps, but you don't necessarily need it. Obviously on, on, War, on Warlock and Titan, you know, you can use exotics on those as well. But again, it's easier on those characters to jump. This is a rescue operation for a wayward ghost. Interference here would not end well for you. As you can see here, just take it really, really easy. If you're in a fire team of three, obviously, you can have one person do this versus, you know, you doing this yourself. But if you're doing this by yourself, this is a very easy way to do the jumps. Oop, bumped my hair there. And you keep proceeding down. You see here, you land, head in, and you're going to start the mission. What you're trying to do here is wind your way around back to the entrance to actually open the door. Now, obviously, since I'm by myself, I don't have to open the door, but I'm going to do it anyway just so you can see it. So, obviously, there's a lot of vents you have to shoot here. So, having something like an auto rifle, SMG, or things like that really helps. I mean, obviously, you can use a shotgun or something like that, but it's not necessary. So, I'm jumping over here, heading over here on the left. What will you do? Obviously getting a little lost there. And you know, like I said, when you do this by yourself, you don't have someone else in here, even if you've done this a lot of times, sometimes you forget things. So you head over here and then over to the right here. That, which I didn't have to do, that is how you open the door to outside. Now I'm going to head in further here. And these things here, these are what you, they're called egg. Or I can't pronounce that. You need those. You have to shoot those with a weapon to be able to proceed past the little areas that will otherwise burn you. So jump over here. Obviously, I don't know how to fire my weapon here. And I think I'm a little nervous here because this was an actual solo flawless r uh, run that I had done in the past. All right, so you continue up here. This part's a little tricky um, if you're not good at jumping. And I'll show you kind of some optimal ways, at least on Hunter. You know, you don't necessarily have to do it this way, but I, I did this to avoid, obviously, doing some dumb things during my jumps. Bumping my head, things like that. And obviously here, I'm getting a little confused about where I go next. But you go over here to the right. And what you're going to start to see are these little enemies. They're the, the scorn, the screeves that blow up on you. So you're going to want to have something to quickly take them out so that they don't kind of mess your run up. And they'll show up out of the blue. So you have to kind of listen to the audio uh, clue to know that they're coming up. All right, so head over there. Flip that switch. And keep heading out. So I'm going to get my Igor. Or again, whatever you want to call it. Head over here. This trick can be a little bit uh, li oh, a little bit tricky, but not too bad. One time. The ether was bound with now, obviously, if you're doing this now in this season, this is from, you know, a little while ago. Obviously, now, something like Wither Horde would probably help out really well here. You know, like I said, just try to keep them as far away as you can as possible. Now, this part is really tricky because, again, if you've never done it before, there are a ton of these creeps that come out. Now, I'm going to head over here. Don't ever to the right. That'll get you, right? But you're going to also notice here that you're going to start shooting these things that open up areas you can go down to. They're like little lights. So I'm going to head down here. And then this area has a ton of the screeps. I'm going to go invisible. That was dumb there. I was trying to get my invisible back. But the enemies weren't there yet, so it was a little premature. I'm using my void wall grenade because, again, it sits there for a while and kind of damages them a little bit so I can take them out fully. Oop! Scream! <laughs> I got a little ahead of myself. 
Be careful and don't do that. So there's a couple things you have to do in this section. You have to do them in a specific order. Uh, first, go down here, get that switch. Then you want to come back over here, and that's going to open this vent over here to the right or left. You're going to jump all the way across. This can be a tricky jump. You're going to get that switch. You're going to head all the way back over. And then over here is an area you have to shoot. Then you head back through here again. This area open up and you go down to the trash compactor. So some very important things with the trash compactor. First off, be careful when he jumps down. As soon as you land, you're going to head over and you're going to flip the switch. Now, here's the trick. You're going to get a ton of screams the first time you activate this. So I like to use tether here, especially multi-tether, because I can, as they come down, you can see I'm trying to bind them. I don't even care if I'm hitting them. I'm trying to slow them up. So I get the first set, destroy them, and then I'm going to use my other end of my tether to get as many of them set up so I can take out the rocket launcher. Now, one of the things in this encounter, as you're going through it, oh, 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 scream. Um, oop, that was almost bad, is that as a trash compactor is coming through, and I'm a little late here, you're going to want to look in the floor, and there are glowing lights you have to shoot. See that? And so I'm going to shoot that, but the problem is I have to do, like, I think it's three of them. I'm running out of time. I'm not going to get it done in time. There is a trick here, and this is harder in a fire team, but you see this area back here? You back up your wall, back up against this wall right here, And then wait, as long as you're in this area, you won't get crushed. So that's really important to stay in this area because you'll get another pass at it. The other good thing is, when you're doing it this time, you're not going to have all the enemies coming up. So you can kind of take your time. So I'm going to head back. You can see everything's kind of nice and compact. It's like Star Wars, right? You're going to head back. You're going to flip this again. And then that'll give you time to be able to do it. Again, you need to shoot all those areas so that you can find the hole in the floor. One thing you'll notice with my weapon choices, I have I am a Void Hunter, but I'm running, you'll see this later, I'm running a solar auto rifle and an arc rocket launcher. That way I can get all the shields, because there are all three types of shields in this encounter. That's gonna open up the hole. Head down the hole, and you're good. All right now, so we have a little dialogue going on here. I'm gonna head down here and I'm taking a minute. A lot of times you might want a super here, so I probably should have saved my super, but this is probably the first area where you're gonna have issues. It's respawn restricted, so if you die, you die. But I'm, what I'm gonna do here primarily is I'm using my my um, invisible. I'm probably running six coyote here, it's been a while, but I'm using it to continuously get my dodge and continuously get my invisible back. And I'm using my grenades strategically. There's a lot of void in this room. So your void grenades and your void super are really gonna help out here. Now I hate scorn, hate the move of patch. And that's one of the struggles here is that you're gonna continuously have these things that, you know, block you up where you can't shoot them. And you have to take those out. I like to use the space in the back of the room because there are things that will snipe you from the back of the room to the front. And the good news is, first off, you want to get them because they'll snipe you. <laughs> but second, um, there's a lot of room back there. There's not as many enemies back there. So you can go back there, kind of rest for a minute, and get them taken out. So I try to get them done quickly if, if possible. And I'm kind of taking my time here again. In a fire team, this is not as big of a deal. When you're doing this solo, um, you know, you're trying not to die. Because again, if you die, you die, right? So you're just trying to be careful. I would definitely, you know, not only take my time, obviously having resistances and things like that will help be helpful here, but I would definitely take my time here, right? You have, you have plenty of time and use finishers where you need to, right? Because with finishers, you know, you can get something down to a little bit and even if it regenerates its shields, you can still take it out. So here, I'm gonna pop my super here because I'm trying to get rid of these annoying purple things that block everything. I'm trying to bind as many of the ads. If it was in a fire team with you, I'd be generating a ton of orbs for you, so you'd be happy with that. 
And again, I'm not being superly aggressive here. I could have been, right? But again, this is a solo flawless run, so I'm trying to be as careful as possible. So I'm going to work these guys' shields down. Not much left, but you have to finish everything. I could just finish that guy. That was kind of a mistake there. But, you know, you have to finish the ads so the door opens. Speaking of finisher, I actually followed my advice there. There's this guy. He's annoying. I'm going to work on shields. I'm try to go invisible where I can. Because the other thing is when you go invisible, you also work up your um, other abilities. Which, oh, yep, I took a shield down there with that grenade. And he is toast. So you'll see the text uh, show up, and that says the next area is open. So lots of running around here. Again, it's a pretty straight shot, but this next area is actually one of the most difficult areas in the entire encounter. It's very open, so you have a lot of ability to run around, but there's not a ton of cover. And there's going to be a ton of enemies, including some beefy enemies, and you're going to need all three weapon types or uh, burn types to take down shields. So again, I'm going to use my rockets pretty liberal here. I'm going to go invisible where I can. I'm obviously working to get my super... You see that guy had arc shields? So I'm using my my um, my uh, rocket launcher on him because obviously my rocket launcher is arc. These days I probably use a hothead or something like that. That's what was available when I originally made this. So obviously I'm just going to take my time, right? And depending on the way you kill the ads, it will actually generate. It'll trigger a second wave of ads to show up, so you need to be careful about that. So I'm trying to take as many of the smaller ads as possible, so that when I take the bigger ads and it spawns another wave, I don't have both to kind of contend with. And you can see that, that other guy sitting there, and again, the, the, those guys at the top that I had were void, right? You had the art guy that was underneath the bridge I already took out, and then there's the solar guy, so you see they kind of split it up. So I'm going to slowly work the shields down using this auto rifle. And again, you don't have to use the auto rifle. That's just something I had that I happened to like at the time. That guy in purple is being a jerk, and I probably should have dealt with him earlier, but I was being kind of stupid. Because, um, that's again, the snipers in these areas, those are the things you're definitely going to want to take out every time. Because those can really mess you around. And obviously, I'm annoyed now, so I'm like, okay, dude, you got to die. And you'll see all these little ads show up. There's also a lot of um, solar fire that happens in this encounter. So just be careful. That will be literally everywhere. And then Screebs. They always scare you at the worst time. And that was not a great idea on my part. And there's a ton of ads. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of exit out. Again, keep moving and use the cover you have. It. There's not a ton of cover. But you can kind of lure the, the ads into groups. And obviously... That one guy is still pinging me over there, so I'm going to deal with him. Again, the real goal here is I'm just continuously trying to maneuver, try to move around. Oh no, Screams! <laughs> I got out of the way, thank God. Probably should use the finisher there, but again, you know, when you're doing this afterwards, you know, things look a lot simpler than when you're sitting here getting killed. All right, I'm going to use my super here. There are these really large dudes over here, these abominations. You get several of these. And I want to collectively, you notice I'm using the wall here, or the bridge. Oh, my God, I almost died. That was stupid. But I'm using the bridge. It's kind of cover as I'm doing this, right? So the other abomination doesn't get me. But, again, I'm just going to retreat out because I probably got a little too close. And, again, that's where you have to be kind of, you know, careful. In a fire team, not a big deal. But when you're on a fire team, you need to pay a little more attention. I'm going to... This guy's really annoying me, and I see a, a brick there. So you see, as soon as I shot him, what happened? We had more ads. So that's one thing to keep in mind. When you take those guys down, you're going to have another wave of ads. So just, you know, prepare for that. Okay, Screebs, more Screebs. Did I tell you that I hate the scorn? Oh, no! All right, I'm going to get on dodge here. I'm trying to get my trying to get my invisible so I can get the heck out of here. Picking up more ammo. Probably should have just used my rocket launcher to take a bunch of those guys out. But, you know, this is, I think, extraordinary rendition. I think that's the weapon. 
Um, at the time, I don't use this a whole lot, but this is one of my favorite submachine guns at the time. I think I have like three or four of these still in my vault. Really, really strong. I think it was from the season of the Splicer. I don't remember. But it's definitely a really strong weapon. And again, don't do what I did there. Use your use your finishers where you can, right? Because A, during a finisher, you're going to get more damage resistance. And it gives you a time in these encounters to kind of stop, pause, and think, right? Because during the animation, you can, you know, just feel more safe. Okay, this purple dude's really starting to irritate me. So I'm going to come up here. And that was a bad grenade throw. Ah, it worked out, though. It's kind of blind luck. I'm going to take that down. One of the bad things with my choice of, of how I did this, since I wanted to avoid class... Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and finish this guy. Yeah, smart move there. But I don't have a void weapon on me, so I'm always going to have to use my abilities to take your shields down, right? And that's why I like Void Wall. Void Wall on the Hunter, at least, that is... Uh, it lasts a long time. It covers a, a big area. You can almost use it as a barrier. I'm going to take that dude down. We're beginning to get an arc shield, so I'm going to take him in the ad to round him down. Alright, so just collecting my thoughts here. I'm going to take that down, so I'm trying to be very, very cautious here. And there is that abomination out there. Alright, I think that's the last one. So I'm going to sneak around here and get this... Oh, come on, dude, here. Well, I do have my super now. So that'll help. And I probably... Yep, there we go. I'm going to take it. I'm trying to do a combination of controlling these guys and trying to do some damage to the boss. Not the boss, but, you know. Probably need to make... Yep, that's what did. Use it again. That's probably a little close, but that's okay. Okay, he's finishable now, which I should probably do. And yep, that's what I do. Okay, then that's that's that portion of the encounter. Again, lots going on there. Um, you know, if you're doing this also, there are a lot of other lore items and stuff you can collect. So, you know, this does give you a little bit of delay to get those things. But this is a good time to kind of collect yourself. You take a break, take a break, right? If you need to collect ammo, collect ammo, because from here on out, you just kind of have a more of a puzzle and platforming area with some enemies until you get to the boss. So obviously be careful of these jumps. There's something, if you're not careful there on the right, will actually bump you down. You know, one of the things I love about this mission is lots of great dialogue, right? Just lots of great stuff with Callus and Osiris talking about their history. Um... Talking about recollections of mistakes and things they made in the past. So again, just lots of great dialogue in this mission. It's one of my, obviously, it's one of my favorites. And here, I'm really confused, but sometimes it's hard to see this area, like when you're trying to go through. All right, so now we're going to get to some areas where... We're going to, you know, look for different switches to throw and also for different things to, to shoot. So obviously I'm a little lost here, and this happens sometimes in the middle of a mission, right? I'm trying to remember what's the next thing that I have to do in order. So I'm looking around, trying to find where I go next. Oh, oh there it is. There's switch. Switch gives me the ear gore, and then I'm going to go out here, head through the door, and use Irigor. Um Again, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. So a ton of Screeb here, so be really, really careful. Right? You have plenty of space back here to kind of, you know, chill out, take your time, not in a hurry. In a fire team, significantly easier. Right? So... One of the tricks here is you're going to activate this, and then, and I should, probably should have a longer range weapon. You gotta hit that area. And with the fire team, you can split this roll. But since I'm doing it solo, I have to do both. So you do that, you immediately jump over here. That gets rid of that shield. Then you're gonna have two switches you after you hit. Away. After you hit the two switches, that will give you access to get to the next area. Thrown on the pyre of my past. You heard something different? The ignorance of my youth. Pain, the 
So I'm going to proceed. Unproven faith built it by logic. Find the Irgur. And proceed out. This one is tight timing, so you just got to kind of be careful about that, right? You got to kind of move. Um, you see my Irgur is starting to run out. Okay, then there are a ton of ads in this area. So, obviously, you know, I'm dealing with Scrape. This one's got me back in the corner, trying to be careful. And then kind of plink away. You know, like I said, don't need to be in any particular hurry. All right, I'm going to plink away. I'm going to, you know, take these guys down. It's probably a wasted super. Probably frustrated, to be honest with you. But there are a lot of ads here, and there's a particularly beefy ones, and they're all void shields. So, probably not the worst use. And again, most of this area is around puzzle. Most of it is not about engaging enemies, right? I mean, little enemies, but nothing huge. Okay, I'm gonna use my finisher here. That was smart on my part. I'm gonna take this guy down. Even though they didn't have matching shield, but it's a rocket launcher. That's what it's designed to. Plus, I know I have a ton of ammo here, so I'm gonna leave this area and I'm gonna lose it otherwise. I'm gonna activate that switch, which, nope, not to the right. What that does, now I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna go invisible because they have these stupid cabal cannon things there. And that's guarding this thing I have to shoot. And that's the reason I did that. So that opened up, I believe, an Urger area. Yep, I'm gonna shoot that. And this one, you gotta, you gotta book it too. It's all the way in the back corner. I mean, you have time, but you definitely have to keep moving. So you go down. This one tripped me up for a while. Now, this next area is kind of tricky because you basically have a long Urger link you have to do, and don't shoot it yet. But you also have to shoot these uh, panels, and there are enemies in here, and you have to go in a specific direction because if you shoot all these, which you can, Right, you're going to let a bunch of enemies you don't necessarily need to let out. Right, so I'm being very careful. Yep, because I know is there, and I think there's probably some more. Uh, yep. Huh. Uh, luckily, I didn't die. Um, and then you see, oh, that's where I have to go. So I'm going to fall all the way back. I'm going to go all the way to the beginning. Hopefully, I don't get lost. Right, and so that's the path that I have to follow. So now I have it all freed up. I'm going to shoot this, and I'm going to book it. Book it, book it. All right, get going. Being slow. I'm going to keep going. And... Yep, hit the switch. That switch. It's going to let me through here. I'm going to get my air gore. Oh, nope, not. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Sometimes that happens, right? And I'm just going to go over here. And I'm through to the next area. There's a door. And then I believe we have some more enemies. Yep, Screeb. There are always Screeb. There's some that come over here to the left. Um, and there's also passes to the right. So you can use both as cover if you're having issues with this area. You can tell I've done this mission a few times. I'm actually, I'm really excited to have it back in uh, in the season. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's back out. That was dumb. Um, I'm really excited to have it back in the season because this is a super fun mi mission. Um and obviously, you know, the great rewards. Okay, there's some big dudes. So, I am sure. Yep, I'm reloading it. I'm going to say, boop, you dead. And then there's two of them here. So, I'm trying to put the rocket between them. So, I maximize my rocketry. And then I'm heading out. Um, okay. So, uh, you'll see here I cut out a little bit because in the video I had previously... I kind of gotten lost. Like, I knew I had to do this. But in this area, this area gets really confusing. So I actually cut out some of the videos so you guys don't have to see me running around not knowing what I'm doing. Um, but, you know, I, I got the one switch, right? After you do that one switch, then obviously you need to find the next area that you're supposed to do. And in this case, it was there the entire time. Shoot that thing. All right. That is going to open up the Yurgor. I'm going to head back and pick that up, hopefully. Okay. And then 
head out here over to the right. Okay, so this is right near the boss, and this gets a little tricky. So you'll see there's these little stupid platforms that show up, and they can they can really mess up your run if you're not careful. So that was a failed attempt to go invisible, deal with this guy. Oh well, still made it work. And I'm trying to be careful because there's a guy over here that I need to take out, but he's kind of snipery, so I need to be careful. Now there's a couple ways you can slip through that crack there, obviously. You need to be careful with that. You can't fall. Sometimes I'll actually go in the top. I'll show you that in here in a second. So I'm gonna go invisible, so I can deal with this dude. Okay, dude, die, 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 die. Okay. Then I'm going to hit this switch right here. But I'm gonna be careful, because look what's look what's there. And I don't want to die. Now, the trick now is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna hit that one too. So that's hidden behind there, and again. This is where I'm not going to do that jump. I'm going to go all the way around, right? Because that's dumb. So you're going to have to get an Irigor in that area, right? And so I want to make sure that I have enough time to do this. Now, you could go and try to get this Irgor here and go all the way to the end. But that's kind of, that's, you can do it. I just wouldn't recommend it. So I'm going to do the safe way. I'm going to go here. I'm going to get this one so I can go in here and shoot that, right, and get to the end. Now, a couple tricks here. If you're on a fire team, you actually don't need to do this because you can have someone go through right over here on the right. They can actually go through and hit a switch which is right there on the right that actually will allow you to get to this area immediately. All right, so I cut some of my footage where I was just sitting here <laughs> because I was sitting here just thinking about what I want to do in weapons loadouts and things like that. Because this is a good opportunity to switch your loadout, right? Because you're going to get a rally flag here. So, shoot your Urger, and this is where you do the boss. It's no... I mean, if you are gonna, if you need to do anything, do it here, because you're not going to have any ability to do anything later. So, here's the boss. The boss is going to stay in this room until you damage him a certain amount. In a fire team, this is pretty simple. Just try to hit him hard really quickly, and he'll go to the next area. Doing this by yourself, obviously, you gotta be careful. He boops you, he's using fire attacks, right? To have a lot of resistance on. Um, obviously, since I have a rocket launcher, I have to be careful. I can't just use things to burst him down because it may shoot me and kill me. I would say here, using something like you use Wither Horde would help out a lot. I love Forbearance in a situation like this. You have a lot of things that have arc on them, and you know, Forbearance is just a great weapon. If you don't have those, there are other options. Any sort of GL as Waveframe would be a really good option here. Okay, so now as I've hit him down a little bit, you'll see, hey, here's where all the enemies come up. I typically go and hide here, right? And he goes down to the lower area. So I'm going to, like I said, slowly work the enemies down, right? And this is also a good opportunity to get ammo, to get your super and abilities back. There's a ton of solar dudes that you're going to have to deal with in this area. So having a good solar weapon is going to help. Use the cover to your advantage, right? There's a ton of cover, but you kind of learn over time. And you'll see these guys are on three sets because they're basically guarding three switches that you're going to have to use. In oh, that was bad. Got to go. Let's get this down, too. Let's just be you know, super careful here. Again, use the cover, but you're trying to take these guys down, right? Because you're eventually trying to get the switches to be able... The bottom area where the boss is is, like, super hot. There's, like, engines. You have to flush the engines with coolant, right, to be able to kill them. So I'm just slowly trying to work these guys down. At the end here, there's going to be two guards per each of the switches you need to flip. So I'm trying to take this out. There's two on the outside, there's one on the inside. And that one you have to be careful on because it's actually with the burning engines. So you're going to do a specific order. Do the two on the outside first. The primary reason for that is that they, you're in here, you're not burning. You know, you're not dealing with the engine heat. So when you slowly start putting the um, coolant in, it's going to make this third one easier to deal with. And I'll show you here in a second. So you see I had coolant flush, two. So I did one. I did two. 
right? And now I'm just getting prepared. I need to go in this area here where there's the last switch. The last switch, however, is... And you'll see it here. It's still hot, but it's less hot because of what you did. I'm going to try to take the enemy down. It's in there. There's two in there. Sometimes I've kind of wandered around. I may have already gotten the other one. I'm going to activate it. Even with the coolant being on, you can see it still almost kills me. Okay, I've done all three uh, coolants. Now, I don't know. There's three exits down. I don't know which one he's at, and I don't want him to kill me. So I'm going to go invisible and then locate him. Okay, you see he's here over on the left. So I'm going to be really careful. I'm trying to get my invis back. All right, now here's where I go to town. I'm going to try to use my tether to damage him. Also, he's going to have enemies that show up, so I'm trying to make sure I... Oh, that was almost a big mistake. You see that? I didn't even know that guy was there. That would have been unfortunate. But you can see once I get to the third of the health, it gets hot again. I need to get out. All right? So I get out, and there's enemies up here. So be really uh, ready for that. Now, one thing to keep in mind, as you're seeing, this is the same stuff I was doing before. During that fight, when there's a period between each of those um, damage phases where you're down at the bottom, no enemies show up at the top. So if for some reason you need to go up and like heal up for a little bit, then you can always go to the top. Now, one caveat is if you take too long in a damage phase, a few enemies will show up here. But otherwise, if the damage phase down below is taking too long or... You know, you're, you're struggling. Don't worry about it. Just get to one of the exits. This is why invisibility really helps. Get to one of the exits. Just come to the top and chill for a little bit. You know, if you need your super to regenerate, come up here and just chill, right? Again, no reason to be in a hurry. And a fire team, obviously, is going to be significantly e easier. But if you're doing this solo, that's one way to do it. So obviously I'm sitting here just working on things again. Really watch the Screebs. Those dudes, I hate Screebs. You know, some developer was sitting there at Bungie like, hey, you know what we should do? We should make these like little explodey guys that are hard to hit, have a little bit of damage, and just show up randomly under you. There's like that one knife, I don't remember what it was. I did on GM one time and they have the mini Screebs. Oh my God, those things are terrible. Drive me crazy. All right, so I'm gonna sit here. Um, Again, watch these these solar things. You know, that's where you have to play around for your resistances. I think solar is probably the best thing because there's a ton of fire, right? And obviously, concussive dampener will help with that too because that'll help with the fire. This will help with the fire on the floor, right? I don't work this dude yet. Yeah, come on, get over here. I could just run over and finish them, but you know, try to be cautious. So then the la they basically the two guards that are each thing are going to show up. I'm going to take these two out. Again, these are good things for regenerating orbs. So if you use like a siphon mod or something, you know, you'll see as I kill both of these, I'm getting orbs, getting my super back. I'm also getting ammo. So I'm going to go ahead and activate this one. I'm going to run over to the other one. I'll activate the other one. And you guys have seen this before, right? By the way, coming into this, um, I was trying to be cautious in this run because it was my solo flawless. There's a lot of time in this run where I'm sitting there trying to regenerate my supers and do other things. So you will see some editing here at the end. Because, again, I'm not trying to make you guys watch me sit around doing nothing, right? And I say that, and then I do that, right? I did want to edit it, but here what I'm at least trying to show you is that you can sit here and just regenerate your, your super a little bit, right? All right, I got my super. I'm ready to go. Let's get going. I'm going to get going here in a second. But again, in this area, you're going to... This is where you kill the third set of guards, right? Making sure I have all the ammo I need. I'm going to go in here now. I'm going to kill this guard. He should be right there. He is. Go die. I'm going to flip this switch. Worked out pretty well. I'm going to get my health back. Now, the trick here, and again, I, I clipped out some stuff where I just sat there, right, kind of thinking. I'm probably taking a break at this point because it is kind of stressful. And you don't want to die again, right, because you're doing this solo flawless. Um, I don't know which one he's going to be at, so I'm going to slip down here real quick and see if he's here. Yep, he's there, and I'm going to get my dodge back, my uh, grenade back. So, yep, doing that again. Now, I'm in a bad situation here in that there's a ton of ads, and I'm trying to arrange them, right? I'm trying to move around so they go towards the center, right? I'm also 
trying to say, okay, is there any way where I can get, like, an area where I can control them a little bit easier? Um, in this case, I decide, you know what? I need a second. I'm going to go back on the top. Look, no enemies, right? Also, I have some bricks up here, so if I wanted to, you know, get those bricks, I can. But I'm like, okay, let me just chill for a second. Let me collect my breath, because, again, you can do that. There is no particular hurry to be in. All right, now I'm going to say, okay, let me think where he might be. Now, obviously, I don't know completely. I'm also trying to get my smoke bomb back, right? Because I didn't have my smoke bomb yet. So I'm going to go here. Okay, he's over here. I'm going to get my smoke bomb again. Now I'm going to use my tether, right? I need to use my tether to bind him. Then I'm going to bind all these enemies. I'm going to try not to die, which I'm doing a really good job of right now. I'm going to go invisible. And, you know, this is another. This is like a failure to launch. In this case, hey... It wasn't going well. I needed to step back and just pause. So again, any point you need to, just head back in. So now I'm ready again. I'm waiting right till my smoke bomb's available. Heading down. Get my smoke bomb again back. All right. I'm tired of this. I'm just like, dude, you need to die. So I'm gonna use my grenade. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna go invisible again. I'm also trying to get my super back. Alright, getting Making sure every time I get my my grenade back so I can make myself invisible. Now, what you see here is because it took too long, guess what? It's mad showed back up. So, again, that is something to keep in mind. That will happen. But, you know, they also help you generate, you know, a little bit of super energy, get your orbs. That helps out, right? So, again, just trying to finish them off. And here I go to the end, right? I'm going to try to knock him down. Oh, yep, got got to that point really quickly. I'm gonna come back up. Now, one thing here is obviously I could kind of show you guys that section. There's no reason to show you again. You guys know how to do that. So I'm not gonna show you killing all those guys again, right? Because that's just gonna waste your time. All right, now I got my super. I need to get out of this. Oh my god, that was a mistake. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna shoot this dude, and easy peasy, because he was debuffed too, right? So, now be careful, there's still some enemies down here. So even though it's the end, you know, it's not the end. So, be careful. Because until you see mission complete, it's not over. All right, so now, look, there's like a little icon that'll show you where the exit is. So I'm gonna head up over here. I'm gonna head over here. Okay, so now I'm heading down here. Heading down here. And there I am. This is a creepy mission to the end because it's basically your guardian sitting here all kind of seized up and that... You know, if you ever see the the thing, um, The Expanse, it kind of reminds me of The Expanse. kind of creepy. And there's some dialogue saying, hey, you know, talking to the Empress, right? A little bit of dialogue here at the end. One thing to keep in mind, I cut it out. There is usually a long delay after where the dialogue finishes and you get the mission complete. So I kind of cut that out so you want to sit here and watch that. But you go, you steal. Ugh, that's nasty. Um, and then, yeah, your mission's complete. So that's the video, guys. If you liked it, feel free to like the video. Subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord. And I'll see you, Guardians, next time in the Tower.